play, but you know, solid, solid. Mm -hmm. I know I got more, a couple, couple reads that I can do better, but we're also getting used to a few, few new things with PK and six on five there at the end and other stuff. But I'm happy with how I competed, but execution on a couple things could lead to just more rolls on time and stuff like that. But I mean, we're, we're going the right direction. How do you feel the PK's kind of coming along? I know you've you obviously that's one of your spots. Oh, it's been coming. I mean, we know it's just reps, right? It's like you know, kind of the beginner route somewhere to go, but then there's always situations that you don't really talk about that kind of occur, like stick broke, five on three, I'm giving a stick away, I'm trying to get some bench, stay in the spot. It's like it's little things like that. Each team and each coach is a little different on how they want to play stuff like that, but we're we're learning, we're talking, and it's. Communication is great, so that's all you can ask for. Just trying to get to the point where you're not thinking. Yeah, exactly. Right. I mean, everyone here is really good on their instincts when they're playing, when they're comfortable and they're not thinking. That, yeah. That's the zone you want to get to where you're not thinking, because then you're just flowing, you're just going, and then hockey's easy. So. But it's, it's been great so far, so we're just going to keep building. How different are the systems from one team to another that you've noticed so far? Uh, I mean, even just playing my old team, um, I mean, D-zone, just habits, stuff, reads, and things you do. I mean, I mean, I kind of know a little bit about what Dallas is doing. I mean, just because played there last year, it's like it's pretty natural. They do they do a good job in the way they play, and when we when we get our system down too, it's it's pretty seamless. But it's just being predictable helps all over the ice. Breakouts, neutral zone, let things break down. So just being predictable helps, and that'll come. Do you talk to the in between plays? Do you talk to your former teammates a lot out there? <laughs> Um, not much. When I'm in the zone, I try to just go to work. I mean, I, I honestly thought maybe their assistant coach or someone was going to say something. But <laughs> no, they everyone's been uh, been professional, and great. But I got a couple Swedes over there that I know that you'll hear something when you're skating around. that's not English, and you know, you know, that's an old buddy of mine. So. <laughs> but uh, I'll see if I can grab them after the game. But if not, I know they're, they're playing a lot of games now too, so they're probably heading yeah. back. How's the transition been? Obviously, you played center when you were in. Uh, when you're in Sweden, and then but last year I think you're mostly wing. Yeah. How, how's kind of the transition back? Then how are you feeling in that progress? I mean, that's also kind of reps, like reps on the faceoffs, taking draws against like, not necessarily unorthodox guys, but guys that take draws yeah. differently, got little tricks and, and stuff like that. I think that's the biggest thing. Playing center has been pretty natural for me, staying in the middle and then supporting the D when we get stops. Um, I think that does come pretty natural, but. For me, I just want to get more reps in the draw, like in the draws. So, but uh, steps in the right direction every day. Tufty said he had felt like last year was a breakout year for him. Did you kind of see that yourself, and is that carrying over kind of here? For him, I mean, we played together a little bit in Texas there. And, I mean, not to pump his tires or my own, but we were we were beasts together. And I mean, I think we've carried that into a little bit here in the preseason. He's he's heavy on pucks. He's big. He moves well. Like. I mean, he's he's a stud, so uh, I'm glad to see him make the most of the opportunity that we have, and it's fun that we complement each other too. As I kind of I know a lot of his habits and his strengths, and I can let him play to his strengths, so that definitely helps. But we're gonna we're gonna keep rolling, just take it day by day, and then uh, see what happens. Similarly, Kimi Ranta's former Dallas teammate, just what has he brought to the PK here? Just in the well, brief snippets you've seen. Yeah, PKN five on five. I mean, the guy plays with NHL pace. He's been in the league for a couple of years, and even in Dallas when I was playing with him, I mean, he makes it easy for you with pushing deep back. His explosiveness as a smaller guy, he's quick to punch, he's quick, quick decisions too. So he's, I mean, he's been great too. I'm just lucky I get to play with two guys that I've had a little chemistry with before. I mean, it makes it, makes it a little easier on me and little things. And we talk well too, so. But whoever, whoever we end up playing with, I think we'll all have success with us. Everyone's a good player on their own, but we'll, uh, we'll keep rolling if we get to stay together. Yeah.